Hey there, and welcome to a new series on our channel. I'm Alex, and I'm gonna be sharing with you our quick tech tips, around 60 seconds or so each week to help you improve your digital skills. We'll start this series with a focus on Windows 11. If you're moving from Windows 10, there are a lot of subtle changes, and we'll help you to take advantage of them. And over time, we'll share tips from across the whole Microsoft 365 suite. We want you to be as productive as possible using the tools you already have in Windows and Microsoft 365. So make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to be notified about next week's quick tech tip. Our first tip is how to add the settings icon to the start menu. Windows 11 has a new start menu layout, but you may be wondering where the link to the settings app is. The settings icon was previously found above the power icon in the start menu in Windows 10. So let's add the settings icon back to the Windows 11 start menu right next to the power icon. Press the start menu icon and search for settings, or you can simply type settings at any time from the start menu, or click on all apps and look for settings in the list of apps. Once in the settings app, let's select personalization. Then go to Start, and now Folders. Toggle this setting to On and you're all done. The Settings icon will now appear on the Start menu next to the Power button. Back in the Settings app, you can also add icons for the File Explorer, Documents, Downloads and more, and they will appear in the same location as the Settings button, so give it a try. If you have the Settings app showing in your pinned apps on the Start menu, I recommend that you right-click on it and select Unpin from Start. That will free up space there for more important apps. If there's something that you'd like to learn, or perhaps you have a tip to share, leave it in the comments below. And make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about next week's Quick Tech Tip.